What's up everybody? We're here again for another comprehensive drum playthrough review. Once again, way too long of a title. I need to shorten these. For everybody who's brand new, hi and welcome. My name is Nick. I like to make these videos because it's fun. I play drums and a bunch of other instruments. We like to watch and review other people's content so that way we can glean the best information possible off of them and better ourselves as drummers and as musicians. All right, so we are revisiting another drummer again today that we've done on this channel. And when I did a previous review on him, I did not realize that some information has already changed <laughs> and that there was some information that was inaccurate in that video. And that wasn't anything regarding technique or anything like that. It was mostly regarding the band that he was with. So he, apparently, I didn't realize it, but he left Spite like two weeks after I filmed that video, which was kind of sad to see, but he's focusing mostly on Darko US as his main project. We're coming back to Josh Miller who's an absolute Chad. He knows how to beat the crap out of his drum kit, which is a good way to be. So we're gonna dive right into the review. Although before we get in, you guys might be wondering, Nick, what's with the lighting on here? Well, why, why is it red, white, and blue? Well, that's because baby, at the time of filming this, it is the 4th of July. You know what that means? America! Celebrate our God-given freedoms and rights. We're already a beer into the day. Ah! Okay, but in all seriousness, we're gonna get right into the video. All right, and without any further ado, guys, we're gonna get right into it. This is Spite Made to Please, a drum playthrough by Josh Miller. I'll make you deal. My favorite song, by the way, on their new album, Dedication to Flesh. Already starting off strong, bro. Now you'll notice there's some changes that he's made to his technique and that's because he's learned new techniques since. He's doing double strokes now, whereas in the previous one he was actually just doing single stroke rolls on the bass drums. Still got all that power though. Like you can just hear that in his bass drum, bro. So tasty of a part, man. Adding good ghost notes in there as well. Adds for a good feel. I mean, just look at the power that he's putting into this drum kit. He's just straight up full arm power with it because it deserves that. And he's using wrist technique on this one as well. Wrist and fingers for the blast beat. This is just a heavy song right here. See, as you can see right there, he does use single leg occasionally, like single stroke rolls on the bass drums. Very good. Very good quad fills there. And again, he's using what's called the cheater's method for double strokes. It's not actually the cheater's method, as we've discussed previously on other videos. Nice little offbeat on the china on this part right here. And then we get into the tech death part of the song. absolutely pounded that snare drum and it sounds so good in this mix I love how distinguished too the toms sound in this mix they're very present and loud even with the fills and everything because sometimes when the drummers do fills it's not that present or loud because they're not hitting as hard but he keeps that power up the whole time Yeah, man, that guy, that guy freaking rules, bro. He really does. Once again with Josh Miller, my guys. A phenomenal drummer at that. I think, honestly, that this is 
probably a little bit of a better example of a video to show how his technique is showcased. You didn't really see a whole lot on the foot cam too much when uh, we were reviewing the other video of his. And the reason for that was because they were more focusing on the actual like, you know, ostinato power that he was giving out. But this is a good song in general just to show how good his double strokes are and how good his writing ability is to complement the song. You'll notice on the song when he's going through some of the heavy parts, he's actually putting the bass drum on the upbeat instead of the downbeat. And that's honestly pretty good because it gives the song a whole lot different of a feel. Not very common that you see in a lot of these modern day bands. A lot of the modern day bands, they want everything to be on the downbeat. Dun, 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 dun. And it just, it gets too generic. When he puts the stuff on the upbeat like that, it gives it a little bit of a different feel. It makes things a little bit more, uh, I guess you could say unique sounding, if that's the right way to say it. But yeah, his double strokes are very clean, very effortless as well. He was using those flat soled shoes so that way he can get a good bounce with it, which is something I don't think we honestly have discussed yet on the channel. Did you know that the different types of footwear that you use are actually going to influence your drumming? That is correct. The different types of footwear you use are going to influence your drumming. People don't really think about that. A lot of times you'll see drummers use flat soled shoes because it is a flat surface. It's not a very thick insole. It's not a very thick shoe lining or anything like that. You get a lot closer to the pedal than you would normally unless you were barefoot. There's other people who are barefoot drummers who are sock drummers and all that. I personally am barefoot usually or and or socks. I don't really wear shoes a whole lot when drumming, but definitely that is something to take into effect when you are trying to figure out how you want to play your drums and what your style is going to be. Think about what type of shoe wear you're going to wear, because if you're trying to do things like double strokes, flat soled shoes may actually be a little bit more useful for you because of what they offer as far as the uh, rigidness and not a very thick sole or anything like that. So that way you can get some better uh, double strokes with that. And obviously we could tell from the hand technique and all that he's using a lot of wrist and fingers and all that a good mix of the two so that way he gets the most power and an absolutely killer sound he's very consistent with his drum patterns a lot of the hits are very consistent he keeps things loud he keeps things very accurate and that a lot has to do with his wrist and finger technique that he's using so do evaluate that with yourself as well what kind of combination of wrist and fingers are you looking for because you want to take into effect endurance as well as power and speed to figure out what's going to best work for you so yeah there's a little bit more that we were talking about i guess in this video more about footwear than anything but other than that so yeah, just take that into effect when you're doing your practice routine. What kind of footwear am I using that may be affecting my playing? What kind of technique am I using for my wrists and fingers? What feels most natural to me? Just a couple things to take into consideration before you sit down at the drum kit and really try and, you know, carve out your style or anything like that. Think about what are some things that you're looking for in your drum playing that you want to achieve, and then just translate that over into your drum kit using footwear, using wrist technique, what kind of sticks you're using, etc., etc. Even down to the tuning of your drums, because all of that is important depending on how you're looking to play and with all that being said guys we're gonna cut the video here so here's just a couple things you guys can do to support me so for one you guys can hit that subscribe button that would mean a world of difference you can check out the playlist with the other videos that i've got i've got a lot of videos similar to this so if you like this kind of content you'll probably like the playlist that i got as well and also don't forget to check out the links that i got down below in the description i got a lot of stuff linked to my band page and we got new music coming out soon so that's gonna be absolutely sick i hope you guys like it and with all that being said guys we're gonna cut the video here so thanks for tuning in thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers, everybody.